over. It's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Michael Lee's back here with you on Sports Center, continuing our breaking news coverage of a potential trade between the Celtics and the Cavs that would basically swap the starting point guard for the two teams that faced off in last year's Eastern Conference Finals. Kyrie Irving going to Boston, Isaiah Thomas going to Cleveland, along with some other players and a draft pick. It was my time to, to do what was best for, for me in terms of my intentions, and that's going after something bigger than myself and honestly being in an environment that's conducive for my potential. And I think that statement is just self-explanatory because um, it's pretty direct in terms of what my intent is. And it's to be happy and be with a, a group of individuals that um, I can grow with. And On IG from last night with the Arthur meme, Brian, do we need another like social media class? Yeah, We've had just, a few of them. This is normally what have people post when they're frustrated. We heard after Kyrie Irving and the Celtics ripped off their ninth straight win. Kyrie had 35 points, he had 12 in the fourth quarter, he was incredible. Do you think maybe LeBron or maybe Cavs management, Scott, and Scotty, should be having second thoughts about whether trading Kyrie was a good decision? A smattering of booze here at Quicken Loans Arena as OKC leads by 17. Think about it. Now we know Love Bone can play three minutes. They had to make a because it was the fist to them. A uh, lugubrious look etched across the countenance of LeBron James. Ah, something else from work, actually. Uh, 1-8 on national television. They should take us off every national televised game for the rest of the season. Um, you know, we got to play good ball. I mean, you know, our butts kicked every game we play on national television, so. First half, and what a first half for the Rockets. As the Cavaliers hear more boos from the fans, Chris Paul and James Harden having their way. So what do you do as a coach to try and, when you deal with a game like this, that can be such a deflating game? But to me, there's got to be an eye-to-eye -eye discussion of how bad we want it. More as the final buzzer sounds. Cavs now 7 and 13 in their last 20 games. Skip, how much is LeBron to blame for the losing streak? Shannon Sharp, is LeBron James not the best player on the planet? Breathe in oxygen. Breathe in oxygen. Okay, I'm going to accept that fact. If that is a fact, then LeBron James is primarily to blame for certainly the last three losses all winnable games. Hmm. Injury is on that entry pass, a high low. And you can see right away Kevin Love reaching for that hand. Tolliver slapping down. And Kevin running to the locker room, knew, knowing immediately he was hurt. It be hot yoga. It was a fiery scene in that uh, Cleveland locker room before practice on Monday, I'm told. Uh, essentially, the, a large part of the group accusing Kevin Love of essentially bailing on them. More chemistry issues have been very apparent on the court, too. As just watched right here as Jay Crowder clearly shows his feelings for Kevin Love when not only did he not help Love up after he was knocked down, but instead stepped over him. Well, as Kevin Love, they said they had a team meeting and that he was the brunt of everybody's uh, frustration. That they were upset that he left the game and he didn't come back the next day based on the headache. But if you talk to other people, they say, well, you know, why weren't you upset at D. Rose that left the team for a time to get his mind together? Why aren't you upset maybe at Isaiah Thomas, who is getting his legs? Why aren't you upset at Crowder, who really can't score in those first couple moments in the game? D.D., what do you think about the situation? Uh, you know, no team identity. Sports from ESPN that LeBron James would meet with the Golden State Warriors in free agency if they can clear the cap space 
to offer him a max contract. And joining the Warriors, the team that he's trying to beat, that would not make him the greatest player ever. That doesn't help him become the greatest player ever because that doesn't make any sense. To be the greatest, you've got to be the greatest. Let me be very, very clear to LeBron James. If you even think about going to the Golden State Warriors, your legacy is tarnished forever. It can't, and there's no other way around it. There's no other way. You cannot be a team, you cannot be the best player in the world that has had a stack deck that wins three championships, the latest in Cleveland after ending a drought that lasted more than a half century in that city. You've lost two of the last three terms of championships to the Golden State Warriors, and then you turn around and you decide to join them, no matter how great Kevin Durant is, and he is phenomenal. It doesn't take away from the fact that at the time he left, it was the weakest move that I'd ever seen by a superstar. Breaking news, big trade in the NBA this hour. Adrian Wojnarowski reporting Isaiah Thomas and Channing Frye in their expiring contracts. And the Cavs' first rounder, which is not the one they got from the Nets. Those are all heading to the Lakers in return for Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance Jr. They're going to acquire Rodney Hood from the Utah Jazz. And they're going to get George Hill from the Sacramento Kings. The Utah Jazz are going to get Derrick Rose and Jay Crowder. And the Sacramento Kings are going to get Joe Johnson from the Utah Jazz. So that's a wild. Players are going all over the place. To see what they would do. They got rid of six players. They got four players in return. You got younger. You got better defensively. You got more athletic. You replaced a, a, a temperamental point guard, which is what Isaiah Thomas was being labeled as with somebody in George Hill who's been in two conference finals, has gone up against LeBron in the past, pretty much knows what it takes and what have you. So you got to look at it from that perspective. In such a short span of time, your team feels so different. How is that possible? Did the attention to uh, details tonight was at, a, was at an all-time high for the first time this season. We got some players that can go out and, and get their own. Um, that's pretty smart, and they picked it up, uh, you know, like they've been here all year. So it's still going to take a little time, even though this was an impressive win on the road. Uh, but that's a good start.